like I said, this is 2023. Remember, yo Shanai. Oh. It's your boy, Mr. CV. We're back again. We're back again in 2023. And this is going to be my first video for 2023. It's absolutely amazing. I want to say um, Happy New Year to every single one of you. I know not every single one I could say Happy New Year to. But if I did say Happy New Year to you, please don't take it personal. It's just because obviously there's a lot of people say Happy New Year. But on here, I'm saying Happy New Year to you. Now, another thing as well is if you're new to my channel or this is the first time you're watching my channel, please click the subscribe button. But also, one thing I always say is please don't just click the subscribe button for the sake of clicking the subscribe button. If you like what I'm doing, if you like my channel, if you like the things I'm saying, click the subscribe button because I just don't want to get lots of people, get huge numbers and then people are not actively watching my videos. I prefer people that are actively watching my videos but also engaging in my videos as well and obviously dropping their comments, liking the videos and also giving their true opinion on some of the things I talk about. Not everything I talk about you agree on or you agree with, that's fine, that's absolutely fine, we can have a discussion about it. So if you like what I'm doing and you want to see more of my videos, please click the subscribe button and put the notification on as well to notify you anytime I make videos. Just before I get into the video as well, I want to think about something some Japanese say, which says, Yoi shanai, yoi kangai. Good thinking equals good product or good thinking good product that means if you think well you produce good things and this 2023 you're going into this 2023 that all of us are going into although all of us are in already we need to start thinking well some of you have so much negative thoughts in your mind we need to start thinking positively because if you think positively like the saying says you produce good things and that's what we want remember yoi shanai yoi kangai so that's a Japanese saying, which means good thinking equals good product or good thinking, good product. Also, in terms of that good thinking as well, this 2023, I want to say this as well. I want to make this clear. Nobody's above blocking. If you give me stress, I'll block you. If you give me headache, I am going to block you. Nobody's above blocking because, listen, this 2023 I want to go into, I want to take, I want to take the steering wheel of my life. I want to be the main driver of my life. I'm tired of being a passenger. I want to I want to steer my life in a direction that I want to, in a direction I will be happy with. And if I see anyone that's trying to bring negativity into my life, that's trying to bring stress or that's bringing things that's going to affect me, my mental health or my mental well-being, straight. I'm going to block you straight and that's what it's going to be. But like I said already, yoi shanai, yoi kangai. Good thinking equals good product yeah that's a japanese saying i'm giving you for free now in terms of that good thinking on my channel i always promote good things because i always tell people like i said back to the saying if you think good you produce good things and i always say to people think well because when i tell people oh people have bought properties people have done this people have done that people don't always believe and i know we live in a generation where people say a lot of things but trust me i'm a person where before I bring something, I've already verified it or I have people that I know for sure that have done it, that I can trust. This is another thing that I want you guys to share. So one of my guys that I know, one of the guys that I know, he just actually moved into a property. Well, welcome home. And there's a property that I want you guys to know about. This property scheme mostly applies to people in London. I've also got one of my other very, 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 very good friend. He's a very, very good friend. I've known him since when I was young. He's also bought a property as well up in Portsmouth. I want to do a video with him as well, but he's a, he's a family man. He's busy and also he needs to have to travel all the way to Portsmouth as well. But listen, don't worry about him. I think my one of the videos that I did with um, with one of my good friend of mine from uni that also bought property as well you can check that video out if you're interested i'm gonna put the link of that video at the bottom of the description afterwards you can go and check out the video and i think you should check it out because like i said good thinking good product 
when you get these, let me not talk too much. Let me not talk too much. Mm. Let me take it step by step. So as I was saying, as I was saying, uh, so my guy, he just bought, um, he just bought a property, and he just, uh, I don't want to say he just bought property. He's got a property, and he's on his way to being on a property ladder. Now there's a reason why I'm saying that the scheme that he's actually using for the property is called London Living Rent. So what this London Living Rent does is, for example, if you want to get a property but you don't have a deposit, what they do is you sign a contract for an amount of years, let's say three years, and after the three years, the aim is you pay rent on that property and the aim is you'll be able to save money for a deposit for that property so that by the time the three years is up, you will have the deposit to put on that property which you can use in like a shared ownership scheme or any other schemes that are there that are available i'm going to put there the eligibility of this property which i'm which you can see on the screen right here one of them is uh you have to live or work in london the scheme is only applied to people that are londoners so if you're not a londoner you can have a look at your area that you live in and check whether they have similar schemes as well. I have a maximum household income of 60,000, so your, your income can't be over 60,000. If you're really interested, you can have a look at the website and you can check it out. I'm gonna go through one of the things that are good about this um, property scheme. So the good thing about this property scheme is that you, you're on your way to owning a property, basically. You're on your way to being on a property ladder. And in that case as well, if you're someone like myself that is motivated, it gives you like a target. So like I said, if you've signed like a three year tenancy agreement, in that three years, obviously you know the target is to work as hard as you can to get deposit so that by the time the three years come, you can be able to put a deposit down to get into the property ladder. Another good thing as well, which you can see from the property as well, which you can see the video of the property as well, is that you get brand new property. For the main man. Oh, come on, brother. New one. New peace. New freedom. Hey. You get a brand new property. What I mean by you get brand new property is that it changes your mentality. It allows you to aspire yourself, actually. Because now you're not just living in any rundown property. You're living in a brand new property. And it gives you that inspiration to actually push yourself to achieve, to be motivated, to have the drive. If you don't aspire, you expire. Because if you're not aspiring for something, you're going to expire. And if you're not informed, you'll be deformed. So for, for you not to reach that level, you need to be pushing yourself, you need to be motivating yourself. Ooh. Man, this ain't bad at all. But one thing I will say about this property scheme that you need to have a think about is let's say for example you got into the property the property was worth two hundred thousand for example and you signed a three-year you signed a three-year tenancy agreement now when you now save up for the deposit what they will do is they will reevaluate the they will reevaluate the property price according to the current market so three years ago, if you bought the property for two hundred thousand, and now after three years the property is two hundred and thirty thousand, now you have to have deposit enough for that two hundred and thirty thousand. The deposit you have will not be for that two hundred thousand. So that's one of the downside of that scheme, because sometimes you might need more deposit than you think. So that's one of the downside of that scheme. So that's one of the problems. But like I said. If you want to get into the property like that and you are highly motivated and you know you can push yourself there's another way there's so many schemes like i said which like i said you can watch the other video that i've done on a property with a with a friend of mine there's so many schemes that you can use but this is also another scheme this is also something else to look at because property is a, is a very very big thing and you can tell i haven't listened to what my friend's reaction to getting the property after I did a little video with him. The man of the moment. Uh, come here, come here. <laughs> Andrea, 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 you come and pray for me. Hey. He's not that my father, bro. He's good. How are you feeling, man? How are you? I just feel blessed. Yeah. Like, um, Tell us. Um, 
so emotional right now. How did you manage to get the property, man? Uh, is a colleague of mine at the council I worked. Um, one, she's older than me, so she told me about this uh, London living rent. It's a scheme, mm. so she told me about it and uh, she gave me the link and I just, I just decided to apply for it. Uh, this particular housing agent is called Orbit, but they are for L and Q too. L and Q, I think that is all known. I, I tried that one, I, I couldn't get down. But those ones, they are looking for higher salary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one, I just said, let me try it, I guess. I just tried it on my system and I didn't open my mind there. They just go back to me that, uh, that the first thing was successful, that uh, they were going to contact me to come and build the house again and everything. And I was like, wow. Wow, man. What would you say for anyone that is looking to get a property, but uh, maybe they've tried different system or they haven't? Uh, what I would say is, regardless, no matter if you've tried, don't give up. You mm -hmm. always, you continue to strive hard. You continue to just make sure, don't, yeah, don't limit yourself. Like she said, consistency is the key. Don't limit yourself. Make sure you relate to people at work. You don't know who can help you at work, at, at home. Just be friendly. Have that open mind and mm. yeah, be kind and uh, go to your things. Like I said, property is a very, very big thing. There's nothing better, there's no better feeling than having something of your own. In this country, especially in this uh, UK, especially, one of the things is this is you actually don't fully have property of your own. Even though your name is on there, if you fail to keep up the payments, they can take the property away from you. And technically, it's your property, but it's not your property. Because at any moment, you fail to keep up the payments, they can take it away from you. But the fact that your name is there, it gives you peace of mind. Like, you can sleep anywhere. If you want, you can sleep on the floor. Nobody's going to question you because it's yours. So, and it's up to you. Just to finish off as well, um, I've got another scheme as well that you can have a look at that someone shared with me. I've actually had a look at this scheme. I don't know too much about this scheme, but I have asked people that know better than me on this scheme. It's called Way Home. And this Way Home is, what he does is basically, let's say for example, a property is 200,000. Let me use that 200,000 example. Let me say, let's say for example, a property is 200,000, yeah? Now, now that the property is 200,000, a group of people, they will put the money down to buy that property. So they will, they will buy the property for you, or they, will, they would have bought that property for 200,000. I don't know the group of people, but the company that deals with that knows those information. What will you will now do, you will now buy a share of that property or whatever your money can afford of that property of those people. So for example, if your money can only afford 5% of that property, you basically put down money for 5% of that property. Over time, you can start to buy more of the shares on that property. One of the good things about this property is you don't have to go through a mortgage. Let's say for example, you buy that 5% of that property, the rest of the 95%, you pay rent on it. You pay rent on that property. Obviously, the more shares you keep buying on the property, the less the rent reduces. All these schemes, they also have a catch to it. That's just the only issue. They also have a catch to it. One of the catch to it, from according to one of my good friends that was actually looking at with that scheme, he was saying, basically, in terms of the share, you can only buy small, small shares of the property up to 40%. But once you reach 40%, the rest of the 60%, you actually need to have the money to buy up the whole rest of the 60%. And the issue is, every time you wanna buy up this, this share, they reevaluate the property. So if the price of the property has gone up, you always have to pay more money and more deposit. These are some of the issues with some of these schemes, and that, that's what it is. But like I said, there's also another scheme, and you also get, a, most of the time, you also get a brand new property as well. Like I said, there's no better feeling than obviously having a property and sometimes like I said just that feeling of having a property it changes your mentality not just not it's just not a property it's a brand new property it changes your mentality because now you as a person want to achieve you want to push yourself you want to challenge yourself obviously not all of us want to stay in the same position obviously and if you do want to stay in the same position that's up to you as well but someone like myself that is motivated, that wants to push myself, that wants to get as high as I can and see how far I can go, definitely, and definitely, these are schemes for you to 
to to have a look at you don't have to follow any of these schemes these are just those ideas for you these are just ideas that you can choose but like i said in my channel before i bring anything to you number one most of the time i've already verified it and i don't just i don't just verify from anyone i verify it with people that i know and i can trust and if i'm not sure i put my hands up and i tell people look i'm not sure but i know i might know one or two people that can tell you better that know better or i'll recommend you go and do research and find out the information yourself remember this is 2023 and remember yoi shanai yoi kangai good thinking good product this 2023 you don't want to be thinking the same i don't want to be thinking the same i want to I've, I've written some of my targets for the year some of the things i wanted to achieve this year and i want to find ways in order to achieve them but i want to be thinking good i want to be thinking good because it allows you to produce better this 2023 don't carry your 2022 mentality or 2021 mentality as you're going you need to be updated you need to update yourself you need to update your mentality you need to update your ideology because things are changing because if you're not updated you'll be outdated this 2023 i know is going to be a fantastic amazing amazing year i know that for sure and already this is a fantastic news for you i'm very very happy for my guy for obviously moving into the property and also 2023 as well please be happy for people i'm always happy for people regardless of whatever they achieve because i know how difficult i know how hard it is sometimes we overlook some of these achievements sometimes we overlook it and i always say even i just said it recently to my family sometimes they overlook so many things me my brother my sister we've achieved sometimes they overlook it they just look at it as if oh it's nothing it's small no it's not because if it was that easy trust me trust me everybody would do it trust me I, I, I can guarantee you that and I know it's not easy so for me I'm always happy for people because you know what if you're happy for people good things as well will happen to you as well people will be happy for you you know what I mean I don't get jealous or envious of people and also by them doing that thing I feel motivated I feel motivated I try and learn from them. I want them to show me the way of doing it. And if it's good for me, then I follow the same scheme. If it's not good for me, then I say, okay, thank you for the information. And at least I'm aware. So this 2023, I know it's gonna be an amazing year. I know it's gonna be a fantastic year. And I'm wishing every single one of you, whether you're my subscriber, whether you're not my subscriber, you watch my videos without me knowing, whether, you watch my videos you like what i'm doing but you haven't subscribed yet whatever wherever you are wherever you're watching me from i'm wishing you a, a amazing 2023 with good success with good happiness and keep watching mr cv keep supporting the channel because without you guys the channel can't grow you guys are the one that make this channel grow so i can only do my part which is to make videos and make it to the best of my ability to the best level i can but without you guys and without your support the channel cannot grow so keep supporting the channel keep supporting your boy mr cv and uh, watch out for the next video and have a fantastic and amazing day and have a fantastic amazing year as well thank you